You're a salesman, Harry. I'm a what? Dear Mr. Potter, we are pleased to inform you that you've been accepted at Hogwarts School of Sales and Negotiation. In a few moments, you will pass through these doors and join your classmates. Keep an eye on the objections. They like to change. Welcome to your first closing lesson. Now say in seven days, the price goes up. There's no magical school for sales really, but there is something close. My name is Alex Berman, a seven-figure agency owner, but before that, I am a salesman at heart. I started out as a junior sales guy in a New York City agency. My first year in agency sales, I became the trusted junior on the team. I wrote proposals for the seniors, booked myself solid with meetings, and helped the founders with their deals. In the second year, that trust paid off when I sold over $1.5 million, outselling both founders and the director of sales to become the top salesperson at the agency. What was my secret? Being consistent, being a problem solver, and listening to the customer's needs. I became the top salesman by being more active in outreach and follow-up than everyone else. Mastering the sales process helped me pack my calendar with meetings and proposals, and took me to the top spot. And I want you to do the same. Introducing Salesman X, a highly tactical sales training. Rather than teaching a bunch of theory, we teach only what's necessary and assign you both daily and weekly tasks to hit your sales goals. This proven process is what worked for me and hundreds of consulting students who have now closed over $100 million in service business agency and coding deals. I am so confident that you'll get three clients following this plan that if you implement and prove you've done the work, I'll refund 100% of the course price if you don't get results. Join now at salesmanx.com. You don't have to wait for an hour. Do you wanna generate revenue quickly? I got this question that asks the exact same thing from Reddit. So in today's video, let's answer it. Stick around, let's talk about short-term sales goals. How do we get your revenue up quickly? Let's go. If you don't know, I'm Alex Berman. I run an agency called X27 along with my partner, Robert Indresh. We're seven figure agency owners. We also have many training courses about cold email, LinkedIn, Twitter sales, agency growth, etc. So we've been teaching this for a while and that would make me qualified to answer this question posted on Reddit from a user named deleted. It's a deleted user asked short term sales goals, how to get revenue up ASAP? It's a short question from a deleted user posted five months ago to slash our sales, but it's an interesting question all the same because a lot of people are wondering. You know, we get in crunches all the time where we think that our companies fall apart and we need to increase our sales ASAP. So how do we do it? How do you go about setting short-term sales goals to get your revenue up? That's what I wanna talk about right now. The main thing that needs to click for you is there is actually no way to increase your revenue directly. Now, I know that sounds shocking, right? This is how to get your revenue up quickly, but you can't actually increase your revenue directly. There's no way. What skill would you do? What would you do to increase your revenue directly? The only thing that you could do to increase revenue directly is take money from your bank account and put it in the company bank account. That would increase your revenue directly but that's not what we're in business for. The only thing you can do is do some task that would increase your revenue. That means getting on more sales calls, asking your current clients for more money, et cetera. And that's what I really wanna talk about in today's video because you have to break that out. You wanna increase revenue ASAP. I know that's your goal, but you actually can't control that. You can control the lead measures, you control the inputs that lead to that goal. And those are things you can control. Those are things like sending cold emails, making cold calls, reaching out to your past clients, et cetera. So let's go through each of these in detail and let's talk about some things that you can do to increase your revenue. First one, if you wanna increase revenue quickly is to focus on your current clients and upsells. That's the first thing I would do is make a list of your current clients and think about what can you sell them more on? For instance, I'm at X27, that's our agency, and we sell cold email outreach. Let's hit up every client we have and let's sell them on something else. Can we sell them on SEO? Can we sell them on PPC? Can we sell them on 2X the outreach that they're already doing? Sales training, something else 
that will get them to give us more money. The easiest way to get more money is from your current clients because they already trust you. Number two, I would go for everyone that's in the funnel that hasn't responded. Basically people that we haven't followed up with in a while. Can we hit all of these guys up and get meetings with them right away? A simple way to do that is to send out a script like, hey Mark, still interested in this? Would love to hop on a call. Just a couple words to people that have maybe been in your funnel for two years uncontacted. Don't say, hey, long time no talk or anything like that. Just follow up, bounce it to the top of their inbox and see if you can book a few calls that way. A third thing you can do is follow up with past clients. These are clients that might have churned or canceled your service. You can reach out to them as well and pitch your service again. And that would be an email like, hey, Mark, still interested in lead generation? Would love to hop on a call. Just again, don't talk about the fact that it's been a long time. Don't talk about the fact that they churned or they were unhappy maybe in the past. Just hit them up, see what they say. Maybe they want to book a call. So that's email. You're emailing all those guys. Now, second thing I would do is cold call all those guys. Same, you've got those three client types. Cold call every single one of those. Your current clients, your past clients, and your unfollowed up contacted leads. All three of those groups should be called. You can call about 50 to 60 people in an hour because most people aren't gonna pick up. So I would just set the timer on your phone for an hour, maybe two hours if you're really into it, and call every single one of those three client groups. Then from there, I would tackle every other channel that you have. If you have a social media account, post on Twitter with an offer. You know, hey, we're doing lead generation, first 10 people to contact me, get 10% off services. Just some kind of offer that you can promote via all your social channels. For us, it would be on Twitter, or on LinkedIn, or on YouTube, or at Facebook. Any of those are useful channels, and I would actually tackle all of those. And that should be enough to generate sales, that's it. Short-term sales goals, okay? This is the closest thing that you can have to putting money from your bank account in the corporate bank account. Contacting all of those people and making that your priority for the week, that's it. That's all you really need to do. And then your sales numbers will go up and then you can focus on everything else, which is outbound techniques, Facebook ads, reaching new customers, sure. But if you need money right now, that's the best way to do it. Let me know down below. Did you implement what we just talked about? Tell me the results, post your results. This works 100%. It's up to you to make it happen. Post your results down below in the comments. Would love to hear how it goes. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smash that like button to encourage this type of content in the future. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.